How you doing everybody? Don here and you know what? It's springtime. It's it's wonderful outside. Everybody's feeling good. You got the birds chirping, the fat booties are walking around and uh, here I am sitting in the Corvette room. You can't see the Corvette, you can't see the Viper, but what you can see is the contents of my gym bag. That's what we're going to be talking about today. So without further ado, this is not in my gym bag. This goes on top of my gym bag because it's just a little bit too big. And what I do with this, those of you who know me, this doesn't work as well as a baseball bat, but it still gets the message across. I'm kidding. I like to take this to the local tennis grounds. They call them courts, I think. And sometimes I like to, uh, you know, serve to the local youth. You know, they think that they're gonna be big stars and gonna be out there, Raphael and the doll on it. But I come out and I just fucking start cranking some tennis balls at them as hard as I can. I pretty much tell them, hey, uh, give up your dreams, give up your passion. You're not gonna make it because if you do, I'm just gonna bully you on and off the court. That's not a good message. Why would I say that? Because <laughs> it's kind of true. Also, tennis is a great sport. You know, you get a really hot partner and a nice skirt, and that's just the guys. That's a joke. It's a bad joke. What else do we got? What else do we got? Let's open it up. Uh, bag sponsored by Fila. I'm wearing Adidas, but I'm actually a Fila boy. There's Pick Me Girls and then there's Fila Boys, and I'm a Fila boy. MGM Grand Casino Fanny Pack in here. I have my tanning oil, my Australian gold. Basically, you wouldn't expect when I take this shirt off that I have a 12 pack, but looks can be deceiving. And sometimes I just gotta get that shit tanned, so I go to Heinz Park and I get practically naked, and leave my boxers on, maybe some short shorts, and lather myself up with uh, Australian gold. So they can use that if they want. In some kind of viral marketing campaign, they can say, hey, you know Don Mastro, he gets fucking naked in public in a park and uh, gets tanned. And normally at the time, you know, I'm tripping and running through forests and all the little fairies and shit, so don't read too much into that. Don't read too much into that one. Bam! Is it in you, Gatorade, and Athletes in Action. This is uh, from a church, I think, from when I went to Tiffin University, when I first went there, and they were saying, hey, it's hip to love Jesus. You know how hip it is? Take a swig of water when you're playing your sport. Football, by the way, punter, all gliac, academic. Gatorade, I've had this since high school. It doesn't have germs in it. I don't know if that's proven or real or anything, but I'm gonna say it doesn't have germs in it. I've cleaned it a couple times. Bam, check this out, no ball. Come on, feed me the rock, you know? It's a, it's a little glove. I guess I want to be a pitcher more than a catcher. And uh, Angel Hernandez, you can get stuffed. Wow, look at this, bowling shoes. I do love to bowl, no secrets there. You know, I'm in a band with a guy who bowled professionally. He might have bowled professionally, but he doesn't have fucking gold and black bowling shoes. So the drip is really what matters. The drip is worth 300 pins alone. Um, so suck it, Eric. These are my bowling shoes. Oh wow, another fanny pack. Made by Fila, Fila boy. We got tennis balls here. These are the same tennis balls I like to bully the local youths with. I mean, I've never used this for anything but that. Maybe I could tell you some funny story about, you know, when I held PCP in there or something. Wow, look at these. They look like they've never been used because they haven't. I bought these to run sprints in. I don't really run too many sprints. I'd like to. I like to do it in my head. I like to do it in my dreams. And when I do, it's in these. Nike Vapors. Drip is life. That's pretty much... That's pretty much my motto. Except it's not. <sighs> Now this is more my speed right here. Copa Mundials by Adidas, reppin'. And these were the cleats that I used. Oh shit, they still got AstroTurf in them. I used these in high school and in college. They're kicking shoes. Well, actually they're soccer shoes. I used them because like I said, I punted. Pretty straightforward. Would walk out there, everybody would laugh at me because you know, I'd be the fucking guy. Not in the tough shoes. These are fucking beastly, look at these. This is like, I'll tear your fucking head off and puke down your throat. These are like, oh my god, who's that guy with the chicken legs and those high-ass socks waddling out to the field in these clearly not football shoes. So yeah, they didn't do too much for my, um, for my image or for respect, but they got the job done. Check these out. Oh, uh, they were prescribed by the doctor, Scholl. They're for these suckers. These are my golf shoes, my golf shoes this year. I'm brand new, I haven't got out to the green yet. I haven't gone out to the fairway yet. I haven't gone out to the rough yet. I spend more time in the rough than anything, but like I always say, there's nothing wrong with a bush. I'm actually very fond of the bush, the brush, whatever, the bush. My iron work is abysmal. But that said, I mean, who really gives a shit? A lot of golfers do. That's actually a pretty big, pretty big deal. Back brace. Now I got the back of a 23-year-old. I'm regressing in age, so that's pretty cool. Check these fuckers out. You know what? 
to the rest of this commentary and these. Bam. I'm ready to fucking hoop. I feel like I'm cross-eyed. I can't see straight. Oh my god. Well, you know what? But I could definitely play sports in these. Some Bill Lambeer shit. I can get fucking tapped. I can play a game of pickup basketball and wind up knocking somebody out. They can knock me out. These will stay on. They might break, but they'll stay on. More tennis balls. Too many balls. And then some tees. This isn't my golf bag. I just carry some golf shit in here, but this isn't my golf bag. These, this is more for, you know, you gotta send someone a message. Uh, well, you just have them hold the tee in their mouth. And then you go to the driving range. So yeah, that's it. Well, we had fun, and it looks like that was everything. So, arrivederci.